Welcome back everyone. This is Ronald Damp here. I'm doing a product review on, on, uh, on two products that I had briefly mentioned in my prior video. Um, these are actually two prior videos. These are the DeLonghi uh, oil filled electric, electric room heater and the Taltronics room humidifier. Uh, I wanted to give them a chance I wanted to, you know, have a chance to be able to test these products and use them uh, in my reptile room before I actually uh, gave a review of whether I liked them or not. So let's take a look at it. Okay, first off, this is the Taltronics Digital Room Humidifier. Here's a. Uh, Here's a look at that instruction booklet so you can see what the name looks like. Okay. This unit is, is digitally controlled. You can control timing. So you can have it timed to run a certain amount you know, during, you know, in minutes or whatever. Um, it has mist control. And it just kicked on here. So mist control is gonna give you, it's gonna adjust the amount of mist. As you can see here, let's not get my camera all wet. Although this unit does not make anything wet, it really, you know, puts out a really fine mist into the air. Um, I don't have any issues with the carpet getting wet. Uh, right now, this thing is sitting on top of this rack, but I usually have it on the floor. Um, and the carpet doesn't get wet. So it, it's a really cool feature. So anyways, this is second to the highest mist. And you can adjust this mist, higher or lower. Right now, it's putting out some, it's putting out some fog right now. Um, I usually keep it on the second setting. Sorry, guys. Missing out on that there. on the second setting right here. So each time you press the button, it changes the mist level. So I, like I said, I usually keep it on a second setting there, which kind of helps conserve the water in the tank so I don't have to fill as much. All right, next feature, feature is gonna be mode. Um, this is, the, this is the, the feature that I use. Um, this is, on mode, you can control the, um, the amount of humidity that you want in your room. Oop. So I keep mine at um, I should keep mine about 45%. Right now this is going to keep this it's going to it's just a, basically a humidity a humidifying thermostat is what it is. So yeah, pretty cool feature. I like it. Um, this has a water level indicator on it. When the water gets low, it tells you. It also has a a clear a clear cut uh, a clear window on the on the side of the of the unit of the tank there to show you where the water is at if you want to see visually that way. But it has also a. 180 degree or yeah 180 degree adjustable head so you can direct the fog or mist in whatever direction you need it to be I mean you any object close enough is going to get wet eventually but see, that's really I mean really it doesn't it doesn't leave that much of a, of a, a water trace uh, moisture trace it, it really does a good job it really puts the, uh, the water particulates in a really fine mist out in the air. So anyways, it's doing the job. I haven't had any, I haven't had any problems with this yet. Um, I have to fill this tank about every two days, like every two, every third day. And that's going to be dependent upon how, on what level you put your mist at. And 
and also the humidity that you keep it at. So of course, if you put it at 80% 80% humidity and at a full mist, it's gonna just use that water up pretty quickly. So in order to refill this, you of course you would shut her off. This opens up like this, like so. This is the inside of the tank. This little thing here is your filter, which needs to be cleaned and replaced as per the instructions. For easy filling, you would just simply lift this whole unit off and then take it to your, your uh, area of, of where you're going to refill. And then you just, once it's filled up, you put it back down in here, like so, and it's ready to go. So yeah, cool unit. And this one you can't, and, and there's some of these humidifiers, they, as you can see here on the front, it says, do not put aromatizing oils in this. So this is not for use with aromatizing oils. And that's what I want. I'm not interested in aromatizing oils. I'm ro in just interested in humidity from my reptiles. So um, I'm gonna be putting the, the link down below in my description. This is uh, from Amazon, I purchased this. And I'll, like I said, I'm gonna put the, the link down below for you guys so you can uh, get this item on, on, on Amazon. And this is an Amazon Prime uh, special also for all you Amazon Primers out there. Good stuff. Comes This, this thing came like within, I don't even know how many days, three days maybe. So, all right, next list, the next item on our list that I had talked about before was this is the DeLonghi. 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 You guys get the point, right? That's the name of it. That's just kind of what it looks like. So there's the unit. This is a great unit. Um, digitally controlled, digital thermostat. It has an eco mode, which I don't use. Uh, the big selling point for me with this was, was, well, the size of it, it's a pretty nice size. It will heat this room here. This is, um, this is about 120 square foot room probably, maybe a little less, and it heats this room effortlessly. Right now I have it set at 76 degrees and very little heat coming off of here. Um, so this here, you can control, you can control You can control the, the temperature with just the plus and the minus buttons. If you want it hotter, you press this button. You want it less, you press that button. It's going to keep it at that temperature. Pretty self-explanatory. It also has a timer on here, which I don't use. And, uh, and a little uh, light feature. It's just a dimmer. It's just a, a light dimmer for the, for the display here, which I don't quite understand that. I think that should, oh, that's just light level of your display, whatever. Okay, so um, eco mode is just the energy savings thing. Like I said, I don't use that. Uh, I just use it at a, just a basic setting. The whole selling point for me on this was was uh, the digital, uh, digital thermostat. Now, um, well, before I get into that, let's, let's talk about Let's talk about the uh, the other things I like about it. Has some handles right here, so if you need to, you know, move it around. Of course, here's the cord. Here's where the cord, you know, retracts, wraps around. Has wheels. Has casters on it, which is kind of cool. I like that. Has casters. Um, not the best on carpet, but anyways, uh, and handles to be able to move it around. So. This thing works good. It's quiet, you can't even hear it. It's very, very silent. Um, that's the benefits of the oil-filled radiators, as they're quiet. Unlike the you know, fan-assisted uh, electric 
room heaters are noisy, so. I will also post the link to this item down below in the description. This is also an Amazon Prime item. Came very quickly to my front door. Very happy with it. So, thumbs up on both these items. I am very, very happy with both of them. Good, good addition to your reptile room. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk about caution. Caution with these, with these oil-filled room heaters. These are not to be left unattended, okay? Like, what I mean by that is, you go to work the whole day and you leave them in the room unattended, okay? There's always a risk of fire hazard. These things have a built-in uh, shut-off sensor in them that if they do overheat, if the thermostat was to fail and they get too hot and overheat, they would shut themselves off. But how do you know it's going to shut off in the, t in the amount of time that you need them to shut off? And what happens if your room gets too hot and your house uh, you know, die or something because of that? That that wouldn't be good. So they also, you know, you have to keep them in an area kind of away from things. You don't want them. You know, you want to keep distance, distance from things. You know, they don't get extremely like hot, hot. You know, to where they're gonna, um, you know, just just a good 12 inch, just you know, clearance around them. I, I don't know. You'd have to refer to the manufacturer's uh, insulation instructions. It probably tells you what the clear, what the safe distances is around them for uh, to combustibles. So I don't use this when I go to work. I use this item. Uh, Mainly when I when it's when the, when the temperatures reach um, below a certain temperature at nighttime and it gets too chilly in here, I'll, I'll I'll use this at night to try to you know so I can maintain a temperature of at least 75, 76, which is what I what is what I'm looking for here in the, in my room. So uh, these are a good addition. These are a good thing to use for a reptile room, um, especially in in the colder in the colder regions uh, of the country. So, great product, and that's it. So, thumbs up to both of these items. So far, so good, they work great. And that's it, that's my product. That is my product review on these two items. So yeah, look for, look for the link down below in my description and look for my next video coming up.